I'll probably upload this video on both my channels. I just got this radio in the other day. It's a Baofeng BFF8HP, uh, most powerful one yet. It's pretty versatile because uh, you can pretty much program it to be a uh, police scanner, a, a fire, fire scanner, emergency scanner. Uh, you could program it to work with all those cheap walkie-talkies. It, it puts out 8 watts, but uh, 8 watts doesn't mean um, a lot of them usually only put out 4 watts. 8 watts doesn't mean it goes twice as far. But it does have an improved antenna on it. And that antenna could give you quite a bit more distance than the wattage. Um, turn it on using this knob here. And it's got an FM. You, right <laughs> so uh, and uh, it's got a little light you press that button right here to the light yeah and you press it again it's a strobe light you press it again it's off um, it's you know what I got to get for it is the cord and I, I ordered it I ordered a good cord with the right chip in it it plugs into here and it plugs into your USB port on your computer and you can download, I already downloaded the Chirp software. They also got the software from the website, this thing. Um, Pufong, Baofang, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> I don't know. You know, crazy name. It's made in China, of course. Um, it, it's about, you know, it's not that much money. It, it does have a lot more features than the earlier models. Um, if you want to, like this, this orange, this is your... Um, press the talk button you don't want to be hitting that on any emergency channels if you set it up for an emergency channel like in other words uh, an emergency channels like for fire and police and all that kind of stuff and you know rescue but you could set it up in the software so you can't transmit on those channels you can only use it as a scanner and uh, I gotta learn that um, but one thing I did learn is this okay listen so frequency mode, and this switches it between frequency mode and channel mode. And frequency mode, in other words, if you want to plug in a, a frequency, you just plug it in one, you know, say one five five six zero zero. Um, then you go to menu, twenty seven menu, and then it asks you to. Um, you, you, that's what it is. Menu twenty seven, then menu. Then it asks you. Um, to uh, choose a channel, and you just choose a channel, then hit memory again, a menu again, and it says it's going into memory. Then when you go back, back to channel mode, it'll be there, and then you could scan. Pull that in. Prop All right, that's a that's the weather or some garbage. Yeah. And actually, most of these uh, are de defaulted, and I got them defaulted, whatever the hell it was set at. I just added a few in there. But what I got to do is uh, set up the repeaters. And you got to really, I think you could do it with this, just with all these buttons and stuff, but it's a lot easier to go get the wire for it. And I got the good wire with the good chip in it. It plugs in here, it plugs in this, into the computer, and uh, I can go set up the repeaters. I think that's why I'm not picking up any of the other stuff. Um, like the police and a fire and all that garbage, but it's a pretty good radio actually uh, for the money. You know, some people say they don't buy no Chinese, but you know, I don't know. This is something that I never. I got I got the CB, you know, a little CB, but that's pretty limited today. I mean, back in the '80s, everybody had a CB for crying out loud. No more. Um, there are there are frequencies on here that you can use without any kind of license. Then there's other stuff out there you got to have like a ham license. You know, maybe I'll get one of those a technician license or something or whatever. I don't know the lowest lowest one. Um, but this thing's pretty robust. You can't submerge it in the water or nothing. Um, but uh, it, it can handle some splash water. You know, some little bit of drizzle or something like that. A little bit of dust. Um, personally, if I had this out in the outdoors, um, you don't want to keep it on your dashboard or your car or anything like that. But personally, if I had this outdoor, I put it, I put it in a little plastic bag. It's got 
a bigger battery in it over the last model. This is a 200, a 2,000 uh, milliamp battery. Um, uh, you got a the clip. You just got to screw it on there yourself. Um, and when you're programming in a frequency, if there's activity on that frequency, yeah, you want you want to unscrew this antenna because it will not go into memory at that last step. It will not go into memory if there's activity on the channel. So if you unscrew the antenna, like in other words, I did that weather station, uh, you know, national national weather, whatever that is, oceanic weather. Uh, probably I could never use that, but I figured it's just one channel I was able to pick up. There wasn't too many I could pick up because of, uh, but you know, if there's activity on it, you want to program it with the antenna off, and this way it goes into memory, and then once it's in memory, then you're okay, you know, you got it memorized. Um, it's pretty damn versatile, but like I said, I'm learning it right now, I don't know everything anything about it. Hell of a lot more complicated than a little BSCB thing I got. And um, I think it's going to be a lot easier when I get this wire in. And I heard that, you know, you can spend five, ten bucks for one of these wires that plugs into this uh, this port here, and it goes into your USB. But if they got a cheap chip chip in there, you'll be playing around trying to get drivers to make the damn thing work. It might not work with all the radios. It probably would work with this one because it's a later model one. But, you know, I figure for five, ten bucks more, get a $20 wire. It might save me hours of BSing around. You know the damn thing's going to work. Um, and once I get that set up, I'll probably set it up for scanning and stuff. But you know what? Uh, even when I have it set up for, like, the police and a fire and stuff, um, I'm going to probably have it set where I can transmit, but... Because I'm the only one using this thing, and um, you know, it's like some some somebody's gonna come around and pick it up and start playing around with it and hitting the transmit button. So I, I'm smart enough not to hit that transmit button, but I'd like to have the ability to transmit because you are allowed to transmit on an emergency signal when you have an emergency. Though I tell you the truth. Police should be the last people I'd ever call in an emergency. I'll tell you that right now, man. <laughs> those guys, man, I don't know if I call those guys. But, you know, you can transmit in, in, um, on an emergency channel when you have an emergency, like a real emergency, you know. Not like your cat stuck up in a tree, but, I mean, you know, something's going on really bad. I don't know, maybe medical emergency or something. And it comes in with this uh, charger and lights up green when it's uh, charged up so yeah and I also picked up this uh, this was a few years ago I picked this thing up Midland 40 channel CB you know and that was really what I was familiar with way back when back in the 80s everybody had this but I tell you the truth even with this big long antenna on here I have never picked up nothing around here because nobody is using these damn things anymore I mean, very few people <laughs> I mean, I don't, I've never picked up nothing. I could scan through here all you want, man. I never picked up nothing on this thing. Um, but, you know, the reason is because you got a lot more range with these little radios like this. And like I said, even with this radio, you can get those ones like in a sporting goods store, like, I don't know, two for 30 bucks. And you can, you can set the frequency in here. To talk to any one of those cheap ass radio, well, this is not a real expensive radio, but you can set this to talk to any of the ones that are for non uh, amateur, non commercial use, and all that type of stuff. You could set this radio for that, and it's got better range a lot better range than the CB, but pretty small, too. I mean, look at that thing, you know. <laughs> I still like this. I wish more people would use the CB radio, but I can see why they don't. It just doesn't have as much range. But I like it because it's simple. Nothing to it, man. As a matter of fact, I got something in that boat down there, a marine, marine radio, and there's an antenna sitting up on that mast. You raise that antenna, it gets way the hell up there. It's like you probably see it way back there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. See it? See the antenna. And, uh, 
don't know if you can see where it plugs. It plugs in right down and <laughs> I don't think it freaking ooh, there's my finger. Right down in there. Right through the hole. There's a marine grade radio in there, it still works too. So yeah. But you know I never I like I said I never picked up nothing on a CB once, ever. Even when I was down in the city area. I don't think anybody uses these damn things, man. They're all on their cell phones or some garbage. Back in the day, these were popular as all hell, man. So, yeah. But this thing, you know, it's pretty damn compact. Um, you can, uh, you know, you can, you got a little versatility with it, too. And, uh, I ain't picking that up too good either. This is a uh, picked it up better inside than I am outside. Crackle, 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 man. There you go. <laughs> you know, I wonder if it's because I'm under this carport. Yeah. So, but you can see the buttons on it, or like uh, you got the blue buttons on it on the newer model, which you could see a lot better. What the hell's going on with that? You know, um, you could set the step. I was messing around with it a little bit. You could set it where it doesn't have the English language every time you press a button. I personally like that English language thing because it says, you know, one six five four zero zero. See what the hell you're doing, or one six two four zero zero. And uh, you got a little light. The little light is pretty smart too, man. So I don't know. It's not a bad thing. I got to learn it more. And Saturday uh, night, it don't work under the carport too good. See, this should be one of the emergency station or, or, um, channels. Not, it doesn't pick up nothing, and the reason is, I think it's because I got to dial it. I got to get a repeater on this thing programmed in, and once that happens, then it'll work. <laughs> so, anyway, but you know, I'm still learning it, and I did learn a few things about it. At least I learned how to program in some frequencies so I could set it in, up on channel mode and just flip it around. Um, did learn a few of the basics. This supposedly has got a better manual on it, but even so, you really need that software to, um, you know, and you got to make, make sure you know these terms like frequencies, VFO mode, and stuff. I mean, I'll probably learn this stuff pretty quick because, man, I'm a math head, but. I don't really have too much interest in this garbage because you can get you can spend all day on this junk. But I want to know some basics because uh, having the radios is pretty good prepper stuff, you know. I personally wish they went. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like the CB because it was simple, but you know it just doesn't have the range of these things, and uh, especially with the repeaters. Um, but I always like the CB because you just you know breaker one nine, you know. <laughs> done that's all you gotta do man <laughs> but still still not too bad not too bad but you know you definitely need uh you definitely got a program with the chirp software the Baofeng software go on their website i put i already downloaded the chirp ordered the wire and once i ordered that i figure once i get that in um i figure that um and I set up these repeaters in here. This thing's gonna be picking up all kinds of crap. So, and um, they have on the web like what the amateur frequencies are that you can use that you know you don't need a license for. And like I said, even though this thing is eight watts, 
that don't mean it goes twice as far. I mean, I don't know what that gives you, maybe 10% more or something, 15%. But um, it depends, too. I mean, if it's um, open line of sight, it'll probably give you quite a bit more distance, maybe, I don't know, 20% more. But if you're going through a bunch of trees, you probably won't do squat. But the big difference, actually, is this antenna is a lot better on this newer model. So... I forget what tail kind of antenna they call it, but it's it is a lot better antenna. Yeah, it's worth it for the money, man. That's for sure. And uh, pretty much do you know for cheap radio, you could do a lot with it. It's good for beginners. So yeah, we'll see how this works out. And uh, did all I could do on it until I get that damn uh, cable in that goes into the USB because. Um, you know, I'm not. I I think you can program the repeaters in it with the buttons in the menu. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> really, just look at a spreadsheet and just go and put it in there, man. But um, the other side of it too, they said that when this model, it's got a much better manual. But the manual doesn't really go into every damn thing. You know. I mean, some of this stuff like backlight timeout and crap. I mean, I really don't give a damn. I just want to be able to use it. <laughs> but um, having a bigger battery, the better antenna, I think that's probably the two biggest features in it. And the buttons are a little bit easier to read, especially when you got the alternative menu on those buttons in blue. You can read those a hell of a lot better. Like that's the scan button there. So. And. I don't know. It's pretty good to me, man. I don't know. Pretty happy with it, but it's going to take me probably some hours to figure out all the rest of it. It's one reason I kind of like this. I wish these damn CBs were able to go like 80 miles or some shit like that with a little handheld. That would be perfect. <laughs> but I guess everybody would be talking over each other. And there's not enough. There's not enough channels on here. Like with this, you, you got a lot. You got a lot of amateur frequencies you could set up. And again, somebody's got those uh, cheaper radios. Like this is not a real expensive radio. You can program this radio to get to with those cheaper radios. So, anyway, just got to make sure we stay free here and uh, keep the communications up, right? New YouTube is going to probably be by shortwave radio or something, ham radio. Way things are going with all these restrictions we got, right? You know how that goes. <laughs> so I'm looking forward with an eye to the future.